Hi, I'm Tan Ka Shing, TP049565, here to simulate Asia Pacific's bus terminal with Java. Okay, let's go. All right, I have simulated this once, and I will talk about it step by step. Okay, this is not the original code. I have forced this specific scenario to happen so I can explain everything in one go. First, customer arrives as here as seen here in the dark yellow, arrives from the west gate, and customer 2 arrives from the east gate as denoted here by the bright yellow. So they will arrive for every 1 to 4 seconds. But I will show you guys that time uh, after this, but I will go to other requirements first. Let's go to number 2. They will queue at the ticket machine or either one of the ticket booths. So as you can see, customer 1 entered and from the foyer, okay, customer 1 has entered the foyer. The fo they will immediately go to either the ticket machine or the ticket booth's queues. In, in this case, it has chose to go to the ticket machine. So then for customer 2, it has went to ticket booth B, customer 3, ticket machine, and so on. Okay, there's that. I will simulate uh, requirements number 4, 5, and 1 later because it requires time. Uh, I will jump to number 6, which is that once a ticket has been possessed, customers move from to either one of the uh, waiting areas. Okay, the waiting areas are always available, so uh, let's take a look. Customer 1 is the first one to enter, so the first one to buy a ticket, obviously, from the ticket machine since it's fast enough. Uh, so customer 1 uh, has bought a ticket to location 2 and is now waiting at area 2. And let's go to the next one. Customer 3 has bought a ticket to location 1 and is now waiting at area 1. Same for customer 2. So location 1, waiting area 1. Location 2, waiting area 2. So there's that. For number 7, the ticket machine is not working, thereby requiring any customers to shift from one queue to another queue. So let's run this again. In this simulation, will the ticket machine break in this run? No, so I can't simulate that here. But I will run it again. And this time, look, by random, it will, yes, it will break. So after one or two seconds from now, the ticket machine broke. As you can see here, the threats ended. And since ticket machine broke, customer four and five from the ticket machine's queue will go to either ticket booth A's queue or ticket booth B's queue. This happens at random. Just so happens in this simulation, they have both went to ticket booth A's queue. So, are they indeed at ticket machine's queue? Let's take a look. Customer 4 and 5. Customer 4 came in from the west gate, and from foyer, customer 4 is now queuing at ticket machine. There's two people there. And let's go back up. Customer 1 is now coming in, and customer 1 from foyer entered ticket machine's queue. But before it had a chance to break, customer 1 already bought a ticket. So it has already left. So we have to look at the next one. Customer 5. Customer 5 entered and is now waiting at ticket machine. So customer 4 and customer 5. They have both indeed shift from ticket machine's queue to another. So number 7 is done. And let's take a look at number 8. One or more ticketing booth staffs on a toilet break. Again, I have forced this to happen uh, because if we leave it to random, I don't think I can present this. And here, ticket booth A will go on a break 2 seconds from now. Ticket booth 3, 2 seconds from now, 2 for 8 and 6 seconds respectively. So it will print out here that ticket booth A has gone on a toilet break for eight, 8 seconds. So anyone queuing at ticket booth A will not buy a ticket because uh, the staff has gone to the toilet break. And it is the same here for ticket booth B. So you can see here, ticket booth B has gone on a toilet break for 6 seconds and they aren't issuing any tickets here. And okay, as you can see here, ticket booth A is back after 8, eight second break. So I will simulate to you again the time taken to issue a ticket, but after uh, 8 seconds for issuing a ticket, uh, it will take another 8 seconds to issue a ticket, right, as stated in the requirements of the document. Customer 3 has bought a ticket from ticket booth A, so it happens every 8 seconds. There, it happens again. And there's that. And once as reaches uh, there, I force this scenario again to happen at this line. The, the global variables are here. Uh, I forced the ticket machine to break and I have set customers coming in every one second. All right, this forces customers to come in at a staggering rate so we can force this terminal has reached maximum capacity and it will wait uh, for, for, for there to be available space to add in more customers. But if not, it will wait 
as you can see here. So there's that at number nine. Now let's run it again, but this time we will simulate our requirements number one, four, and five. And maybe we can talk about a little bit more about the rest as well. So I will set uh, this, uh, the customer, the produce customer threats back to one in every four seconds. And I will set uh, the ticket machine to not break. 10 seconds and 11 seconds. Or maybe not break so early. All right, so let's hit run. Will ticket machine break on this run? No. So as you can see, someone has entered the ticket machine. And one, two, three, four. Ticket machine. One, two, three, four. So it issues a ticket every four seconds. For ticket with A and B, let's do this again. Okay, let's wait that. All right, they have gone for a toilet break. Let's wait for them to come back. Okay, so I came back. So any minute now for ticket booth A. So ticket booth A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ticket booth A. There we go. So this happens for ticket booth A and B respectively. And that is all. Thank you. For further uh, reference, you can look at the document. Good day.